and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Here we go, D, get off the field. Third and long for Mayfield. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Miles Garrett in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. Sanders now to return. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. 58 yards, the distance covered on the punt return as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Well, they were going to get excellent field position either way. They had pinned them deep, but that's even better. So in other words, being comfortable with field position, that was going to be okay. But sometimes being greedy is the right way to go. And boy, they take it all the way back, put it in the end zone. A great way to get started for them. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Here we go. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards now they'll come up on second and 12 Mayfield and that'll be incomplete took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in couldn't hang on third down that would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They go play action. Mayfield. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now. Remember, his first attempt was returned for a touchdown. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And he'll take it just outside the 40. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And the Bengals will take over in terrific field position. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. He'll take a shot for the end zone. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Randy Moss, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. To throw again, Jackson. They'll let this go for the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing the receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. 
And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson flush to his right. And this is going to be incomplete. Marshawn Lattimore right there on the coverage. He was draped all over it. So certainly not the way that they were hoping that possession would end, failing to convert on fourth. And now they've got to make sure that they keep their poise, they keep their confidence. Just because it didn't work once doesn't mean if they get that same situation later that they shouldn't go for it again. The defense feels great, but the offense, they can't be despondent. First down run with Elliott going to go for about four. Second and six coming up. The all-pro Von Miller there on the tackle. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half as any shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs. And the pass is intercepted. He was looking for Ingram. Ronnie Lott, the Hall of Famer, with a pick. Here's Jackson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Gonna throw again. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. And now it's third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as he'll stop him well short of the yellow line. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it to Jackson. And my goodness, this is incomplete. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Dolphins celebrate their goal line stand. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Under pressure and down he goes in the end zone, and that's a safety. And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. The Bengals drive about to get going. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. Somebody's going to have to change up what they're doing. And nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. 
That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. On first and 10, it's Jackson. That's complete to Calvin Johnson. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Terrell Owens, 42 yards. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. So now the Bengals offense will stay out there as they'll decide to go for two. From the gun, Jackson. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken very short. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you down. You don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you now just you can go. I think Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. Brian Erlacher, what a force getting in there for the sack. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Mayfield to throw it. And the pass is intercepted. He was looking for Ingram. Picked off by Deion Sanders. You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is his horoscope off, his biorhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? A nice-looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. First play of the drive, a success. Yes, 19 yards. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Hunter Henry brings it in. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. Here's Jackson to throw over the middle, and it's incomplete. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Ooh, the juke gets this out to Saquon Barkley. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it third and one. They'll run with Barkley. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Calvin Johnson, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Let's go. Hey, come on. Don't see me in your nightmare. Now Jackson throwing again. There goes a deep ball. Ends up. He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Calvin Johnson, 32 yards. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Jackson from the shotgun. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. Dolphins are going to recover. 
Well, second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Check three, check three, check three. Hey, alert 33. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. So the delay of game penalty moves it back five. That makes it second and ten. Here's Mayfield. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. To throw, Mayfield. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 16, and the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got to be able to forget, compartmentalize, whatever you want to call it, and move on. He hasn't been able to do so here in the second. Jackson. Complete. It's Johnson. The 20. Look at the spin. Balance. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A big play there for the Bengals. 41 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. Johnson's got it complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. 12 yards that time at a Cincinnati first down. Jackson finds his tight end Ingram. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Now it's Jackson, and he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Lamar Jackson with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys continue to pour it on. So now the Bengals' offense will stay out there as he'll decide to go for two. They're going to run it with Barkley. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. The third time wasn't a charm. They got the first two two-point tries. Still have the lead, but couldn't get the third. Okay, so they didn't get this one, but I have to ask you, what matchup are they seeing that they feel that confident to go for two so often? Yeah, we talk about this a lot, but it has to be something you're right that they saw all week, correct? Definitely game plan for, felt good about being aggressive and going for it. And right up until that one, they would gotten two for two. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target, but it's going to be second down. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. Push them back. Push them back. 
Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Miami. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this one will be touched down inside the 40-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on. Here's what we... And now off to the races down the right side. across midfield and inside the 45. The second quarter starts off with a bang as they snag over 30 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now Jackson. Pass the 20. He gets this one to Johnson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? To throw is Jackson. Open man is Ross complete. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now it's Barkley. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. They'll run it again with Barkley. And 
And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. My goodness, it'll be a disastrous loss on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Boy, not deterred from those first two failed attempts. They're going to go a third time here on fourth down. Jackson now. He'll buy some time right. Now he'll let it go. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And he is finally out of bounds, just shy of the five, all the way down at the six. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Throwing is Jackson. And he will score! Touchdown, Cincinnati! A six-yard touchdown run as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. The bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to feeling the pressure here and taking down a sack back at the seven. I know we can sit up here and dance around it a little bit, but going for two in this situation, Somebody doesn't like someone else. There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went, <laughs> I mean, you, yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you can just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No. No, okay. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Let's go. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Throwing again on second down. Mayfield. Oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. And the Bengals grab it. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. The Bengals drive about to get going. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive. Is it, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from the mother. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Mayfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. 
And that is not going to get there. Oh, he missed it short. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty possession there, and you'd have to say it's not like him to come up short on a kick like that. Yeah, and it's real easy for me to say this, but anything in the 40 to 49-yard range should be pretty automatic for an NFL kicker, especially in terms of at least getting it there. So you're right. That is a surprise that this will come up short. Escaping the pressure right. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Mayfield now after the fumble recovery. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Ryan Shazier got this in that time. Like the for first real, round the pick worst of 2014. Ever Back now in Miami. Like, I got to give you a award. A like, you were so definitely far going as we get YouTube. set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Now watch how Erlacher plays his zone different by just that small little adjustment. Everybody on my YouTube. Throwing Mayfield. Oh, you see how he didn't drift off to the right or left? He went straight back. More. Give the sack to Lawrence Taylor. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Third and long for Mayfield. And that is incomplete. Dude, Mike Evans almost had the glitch. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't Mike he? Evans what is we've seen is a defense that's well coordinated. The front and the back really... And how about this? A fake. Oh, but this is going to backfire as it's intercepted. Picked up by my fans. Night train lane. For my fans. Oh. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. The Bengals drive about to get going. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out John there. running out there. Backup. Let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL. Look at John. Oh, that's the thing. Look at John running. In the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row. I'll try to get the big boy to ball. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game Dude, for the team to have a big broke, lead. Though. And in each instance, like, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just a real do that to do real glitch. You know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. And he's taken down so Lamar Jackson, while I'm just the carrying the ball line. and whatnot, will fall. But I'm sitting there just celebrating midfield, legs, and he's straight. And get the first. So from the 36 now, first and okay. 10. Play action. Now Jackson rolling to his Ooh. right. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. It's Lamar card is fucking nasty, man. Duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this one? Both of these guys running the ball well. Yeah, they've mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks have taken up, but another example I gotta right try it. of just good mobility. Oh, my God. John running with almost baller. Down, but this throw down field, incomplete. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still take John shots running like that almost ball field. somebody. I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure Look you at John running the ball lead because you keep yeah, you're it around, and... you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. This is crazy. Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. 
And his throw is I really incomplete. should put Playmaker on this dude. Calvin Johnson, the intended target. But what would I take off, third down. Now the secondary is really struggling. I can't take off anything. I'm not going to take off Hawk Rock Master. I can't take, take off escape artist. Sea ball. Knock Dashing dead away. eyes and moss. Turns into a nice play. Now the Bengals on third down. Gunslinger, you have to have gunslinger on the wall. There's nothing that I can really take off. From the gun, Jackson. Buying time to his left. He may try and run for this. Jackson yeah, that's a hit, and he lost Any the quarterback is double this hit. It's auto. It's auto. Any type of quarterback is double hit. Auto. And now three drives. <laughs> it's an auto fumble this year. <clears throat> Any type of quarterback is, is double hit. So How many far, times do we see them put that sleeve over? Quarterback and have 90 something carrying. It's hard to handle. It's almost like they're playing with that sleeve on the ball right now. Was that three drives? Yep. Three, three fumbles? Three fumbles. It's time to change our luck someday, somehow. Focus, concentration. You'll hear those words on the big, Mike big way right now. Mike Evans, what? Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of the ball game. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. <laughs> for my fans. For my fans. We are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. This dude is not quit, though. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. And he runs a bunch of plays right now that I do not run. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. Nowhere to go here. Ooh. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And it's a defensive return for a late touchdown. So they still need somewhat of a miracle here, but at least that gets them a little bit closer. And at this point, after that return for a touchdown, I guess the only thing is... Your defense now has more points wrong. than your offense. Not only that, I think that between the two of us, we thought this was over before. I believe now it's really over. Dawson tacks on the point after as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. So it would no doubt be a miracle you comeback want the ball back, here, bro? but let's see what they can do starting with you the outside You want to do something with it? You can have it. And this one travels Psych. out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. starting field position for the Bengals here as they come up first and 10 just shy of midfield at the 48 Barkley a second broken tackle nine yards is the pick up there and they'll have a second and one they'll keep it on the ground Barkley Barkley is a goon. Past the 30, almost to the 25. That one good for 15, and the Bengals get a first down. Oh, he's got the full package. He can spin, he can juke, he can make you miss, he can drop a shoulder on you. Some of that elusiveness we saw at Penn State has definitely translated to the NFL game. Saquon Barkley hit the proper buttons and turned him loose. Here's Jackson to throw. Looking left side, and he's got him in. Interesting screen. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. To throw again on second down. Jackson flushed out right. That was, 
<laughs> I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right. For I was me. trying, dude. I, I was trying to do some like signal with pass. Away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Now on third down, that pass Good job. knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. Shaquille Griffin knocking it away that time in coverage. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense? I don't have like any reverses or nothing. Absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third uh, down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. I tell you, Charles. You play to the final whistle, I get that, but there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well at hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last score. I struggle with this one. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop it. I guarantee you, I know who's really excited. Fantasy owners. Yeah. Who had them. Hey, listen, get the points for me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll try to sweep with Aliyah. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Again, it's Elliott. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Shot from Mayfield here. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just this, keep winning. The they will gratefully terrible. accept them, won't they?